This video will cover the basics of using the following SOLIDWORKS sketch tools. Offset entities, create new sketch from selection, repair sketch, linear sketch pattern, edit linear sketch patterns, and dynamic mirror. A very useful tool is offset entities. This allows you to use an existing sketch entity or feature and create new sketch entities that are offset by a specified distance from them. This tool is very helpful when you are creating parts that need to have a certain tolerance to fit together with other parts. To use this tool, have an existing feature or sketch created. Under the Sketch tab in the Feature Manager, select Offset Entities. Select the entities or edges that you would like to offset from. In the Property Manager that appears on the left, there are some options that can be chosen. The first is to add the dimension of the gap between the offset. By selecting the reverse box, the direction of the offset will be flipped. If Select Chain is clicked, then an entire group of entities that are connected will be selected. If not, then individual entities will need to be chosen. The option Bidirectional creates two offset lines, one on either side of the starting baseline. By selecting the Make Base Construction, the baselines will turn into construction lines once the offset lines are created. This is useful if using the bi-direction option and you would like to create an extruded boss in between the two offset lines. The final option is to cap ends. This option is used with the bi-direction and will close off the ends of your offset entities with either an arc or a line. The Create Sketch from Selection tool allows the user to choose some existing sketch entities and insert them into a new sketch. This tool requires entities to be pre-selected before the tool itself is selected. The feature is found under Tools, Sketch Tools, and then Create Sketch from Selection. The entities that are selected are then inserted into a new sketch with the same orientations. However, no dimensions or relations are brought into the new sketch. If needed, new relations between the old, already defined sketch and the new sketch can be created. This can be done by adding coincident relations to common points between the two sketches. SOLIDWORKS has a repair sketch tool that identifies areas in a sketch that may need to be fixed. This includes gaps between sketch entities as well as the intersection of three or more sketch entities. This tool can be found under Tools, Sketch Tools, and Repair Sketch, or else Repair Sketch under the Sketch tab in the Command Manager. When selected, a dialog box appears that allows you to adjust the gap size it will look for. A magnifying glass can be shown by selecting the associated button and a close-up view of this area will be shown. You can zoom in and out by using the scroll wheel on the mouse. At the bottom of this dialog box, there are arrows to scroll through the different problems as well as a description of the current problem. This is a very useful tool when trying to identify where a sketch is open or when there is a small entity that was created. There are two different options for creating patterns in a sketch, a linear sketch pattern and a circular sketch pattern. These can be found under the Sketch tab in the Command Manager or under Tools, Sketch Tools, and finally Linear or Circular Pattern. With one of these selected, in this case Linear Pattern, you can select the entity that you'd like to pattern. The software will default the directions to the x-axis and the y-axis, but those can be changed by selecting the direction box and picking a line or edge for direction. The spacing for these entities can be chosen next as well as if the spacing dimension in that direction should be added in. The number of instances can be changed to the desired amount. This number includes the starting entity. The angle at which the entities are patterned can be changed as well. To get the rest of the options to appear in the Y direction, increase the number of instances. In the Entities to Pattern box, you can see what entities are going to be patterned. You can also delete any entities that you don't want patterned. By clicking in the box at the bottom, you can choose to skip certain instances of the pattern by clicking on one of the purple dots located in the graphics window. This is useful if one of the instances is over a hole or off the part. To edit a linear sketch pattern, click on the original sketch entity. Next, go under Tools, Sketch Tools, and finally Edit Linear Pattern. This will bring up the original property manager where settings can be changed. This entire procedure also works with a circular sketch pattern.
In SolidWorks, there's a tool called Dynamic Mirror, which allows you to create a mirror image of a sketch about a sketch line. The first step in using this tool is to create a mirror line with a sketch line. Next, go under Tools, Sketch Tools, and select Dynamic Mirror. Choose the line just created. Now start drawing the sketch on one side of the line. As soon as the line is created, it will be mirrored onto the other side. This can be repeated until the sketch is complete. Once the sketch is exited, the dynamic mirror tool will shut off and won't be active even if the sketch is edited again. I hope you found this video useful and will use these tools in your next model.